if you come off of resumes and just talk top four teams, and Clint, we talked about this before we went on air, you could stand back and say out of the two superpower conferences, so we have a power five, and there's really two of those, two of the five are superpower. You can make a case two SEC teams versus two Big Ten teams. Let's throw the ball out there and get after it. Like, if you're going to be all the way honest about it. But if we're going to keep reservations that this chair is for whoever comes out of the Pac-12 and, and this chair is whoever has the cleanest schedule, but not necessarily the best, the toughest road to get there, you guys sit right here. Now, if you really just say the four monster programs, locker room to locker room, based on how they perform, I think it could go, it's SEC versus Big Ten. Clint? I'm with you, boss. I, look, I mean, I, I think I think if if we're again, I hate to play this card because I I hate this 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 out, if you will. But if we're really talking right now, having a conversation about the best four teams in America, I think it is very possible that it could be two SEC teams and two Big Ten teams. It mm -hmm. is very very possible. Now I say that I say that. With you guys already know how I feel about Oregon. I don't. I don't give a day. I think. I think part of being a college football playoff top four team in America over an entire season. Part of part of getting in that in that group should be you show up every week and you handle business. Every week you handle business. You win ugly. You win when somebody's hurt. You win when COVID hits. You yep. you win. Yep. And so. I, I'm I'm maybe I'm maybe the wrong person, G, to ask that question to because it's real easy for me to slide Oregon up out of there and and tell you that that Ohio State and, and another Big Ten team should be should be in there with them. Hack, how do you see it? Yeah. Hack could, could could when it's all said and done, if we have some close twelve round split decision battles, Ohio State versus the two two versus the state of Michigan. That takes care of the Big Ten. They'll eviscerate whoever comes from the West. Really, yep. the, the, the championship should be done on the same conference. This is like how same, same, the, the yeah. Yankees and Red Sox used to be the two best teams. They had to go to, through each other. Or we look back how the NBA used to be so heavily weighted in the West. East didn't matter, but they still got to go through each other. How do you see that? Could the second best team in the Big Ten lay claim on the, on the playoff? Well, I mean, I think they're going to need some help. I mean, just realistically speaking, with the precedents like we talked about that that the that the committee has set with Oregon and a few few of the other teams that are in there. But without a doubt, I mean, I think if you if you have a if you have a two loss Michigan that runs the table convincingly and plays Ohio State and takes takes them to the wire. I think it'd be really hard not to just because of how strong that conference has been. And like we talked about just now when you asked me about Penn State, like I don't think Penn – like Penn State has its problems, but I don't think that's a bad football team. And I think right. their defense travels and they're middle – they're kind of like middle of the pack in that – I mean, it's it's Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State, and then Penn State mm -hmm. in the east. And I think Penn State would travel pretty well in her, in her conference across the country uh, and present issues. So – when, when you're talking about that, it's the closest that we've seen, I've said this before, to what the SEC deals with every year. And yeah. I, don't think, I don't think we've had that problem presented to us before having to make a decision like, hey, we're going to take the – are we going to, you know, are we going to take the four best teams in college football? Well, the two best conferences – well, I'm not going to say conferences, but the best – one of the best conference divisions in college football and the best conference in college football – uh, they're they definitely be deserving based on strength of schedule, who they play. And if you make it out and if you make it out winning, you know, like Clint said, winning ugly and, and having to scrap through that, you make it out with, with a little blemish here and there. I'd love to see them play it out because I, I think in a weird year, every, all things considered, it would make the most sense. But like I said, I don't know if they're going to really, I don't know how the, how the committee is going to do that because they've already set some precedents. Clint, let's just go to the committee. Let's go right with Hack is saying. They've already kind of shown they like they got a set of balls. They put Oregon up there at three after getting beat by a Stanford program that's struggling. Could 
how would they have to shape this thing to get to an SEC Big Ten playoff? How would they have to shape it? But, but just I, 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 eye I, I, test, I, I, is that I, what you say there? I missed the first part of your question, G. My 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 buds. Oh my over. gosh! It, Kansas it, it, beat it, Texas at Texas. Sorry to interrupt. Fifty-seven, fifty-six. That old, that old, that old delay you got that that came through. That came through five minutes ago, G. What kind of service? <laughs> you got there, G? I, I've been I've been focused in. I just looked up. Hey. I saw that. Sorry, Clint. Sorry, Clint. You're still you, hey, you're still using them old lick the sticker stamps, man. You got to get that stamps. Get stamps. Com. Right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. But I lost I lost a little bit of money on Bet Rivers tonight messing with uh <laughs> messing with Texas. I thought that was my lot. Oh, Thank you for man. that. Uh but I I'll, I'll mail it in on stamps.com next week. If you're looking for ways to skip the trip to the post office and dodge all the hectic holiday shopping traffic like Clint Sterner, why not save time and money with stamps.com? Stamps.com lets you compare rates, print labels, access exclusive uh, exclusive discounts on UPS and USPS services all year long. It just makes sense, especially if your business sends more mail and packages during the holiday. Whether you're selling online or running on office or a side hustle, stamps.com can save you so much time, money, and stress during the holidays. How? By allowing you to access all the post office, USPS, shipping services you need without taking the trip and getting a discount you can't find anywhere else like up to 40% off USPS rates and 76% off UPS in 2021. If you're still going to the post office, instead of using stamps.com, it's like taking the stairs instead of riding the elevator, just going up a couple of floors. Sure. Take the steps walking up 30 flights a day. You could use a break. And if you spend more time than a few minutes a week dealing with mail and shipping, Stamps.com is your lifesaver. You'll save so much time and money, you'll wonder why you didn't start sooner. So join Stamps.com, save time, save money this holiday season. Sign up with the promo code DARK, that's all caps for After Dark Show, fill to 12, for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, free postage, and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts, just go to Stamps.com like Christian Hackenberg does, click the microphone at the top of the page and enter the code DARK, all caps, for stamps.com. 